Hello everyone, this is me back again with more updates on the Enfield Himalayan. So this video will be regarding the silent recall that Royal Enfield is doing on all Himalayans. So as we all know, Royal Enfield is facing a couple of legal charges from Himalayan owners. The legal charges pressed against Royal Enfield is regarding the quality and the reliability of the motorcycle. So this motorcycle is not very reliable as the ads for the Himalayan show go where there are no roads or any roads that's some kind of an ad that Royal Enfield plays for uh, the Himalayan but the bike has not uh, lived up to its name there have been a lot of failures on the bike mechanical and electrical and uh, this recall by Royal Enfield is a preventive measure to stop any more legal charges being pressed against it so as the name suggests, it's a silent recall. So the people in Royal Enfield showroom, the mechanics in the showroom will not tell you the parts that are being replaced on the motorcycle. It's kept a total secret. The only, uh, the only hints that we get from the part for the parts that have been replaced is by looking at the motorcycle after it has been gone through its servicing. So when you look at the motorcycle, the first notice, the first thing you notice is the radiator grill, the radiator for the oil over here, that's been changed. This is not the radiator that came along with the motorcycle. It's a different radiator. And uh, the new radiator has a metal grill on, on it. I have heard that uh, the old radiator used to be too fragile. Uh, any small fall that you have and this radiator would break. And once the radiator would break, the oil would start flowing out of this and then the bike you cannot use the bike anymore once the oil starts leaking from the radiator so that's the reason they have gone and put this protective grill and a new radiator which with better cooling so royal enfield hopes this should cool the engine a lot better and uh, the heating issues that came along with uh, the old royal enfield should or himalayan all old, old himalayan should be fixed with the new grill and as we look closer we see that uh, they have opened up the engine as well so I'm not sure what all the parts they have changed inside the engine the, I can take a guess that the coil must have been changed because I heard a lot of complaints regarding the coil being blown out uh, during long rides so I suspect they have put in a new coil over here and the work you see over here although it's a free recall the, the servicing is free everything is free you can see the work they have done on the motorcycle is not so great. For a company that's facing so many legal hurdles, so many legal charges from its users, from its customers, when they do a free recall, we expect the quality of work to be a lot better than this over here. This looks like it's been done by a five-year-old on his drawing book or on his coloring book. You can see the glue is everywhere. The glue is just spilled out everywhere. This is not the way you fix a motorcycle not at least a professional this is not what we expect a professional to fix a motorcycle this is too amateurish and this is not the way you treat your customers Royal Enfield this is something which is not expected this work is too shoddy to be done by any professional and the other complaint that I had on the Enfield was this uh, the head the oil the engine head over here had some oil leakages so I had complained this to Royal Enfield and they said they'll be taking care of it, they'll be, re they'll be replacing the packaging and uh, the packing and uh, the washers over here, they said they'll be replacing this so that oil doesn't flow out but it doesn't look like they have done anything on it, it after just 20 kilometers the oil leakage is back and I think that's just part of all Royal Enfields, if a Royal Enfield doesn't leak oil it's not an Enfield, so they are living up to that reputation over here. The oil leakage is quite consistent. And uh, the other thing over here is, when we go on this side, uh, by looking at the packing, they have replaced the packing over here. The packing has been removed, which means the entire clutch assembly has been removed. So I suspect they have changed the clutch assembly because the clutch, this is the clutch packing over here, this is where the clutch sits. So by looking at this, I assume they have changed the clutch assembly because there have been lots of complaints 
regarding the gear shifting to be too tight for the Himalayan. So right now the gear shifting is quite smooth because it's been just two or three days after the servicing. I'm not sure of two or three days what's gonna happen. So this is one thing. So and the other thing over here is if you look at my previous video, I had uploaded a video wherein uh, the ignition had stopped. This is the uh, key, the starting key for the Himalayan and that had stopped working. You can uh, see the link up there. If you can go to that link, you can see that how this wiring over here, there is a wire which runs from your key, that's the main key, uh, the ignition wire which runs down that had torn up. So I taken it to, as part of this recall, they had given me the truth regarding this wiring. So this key, this key has been designed for a, this key is not designed for a Himalayan, this key is taken from a Thunderbird. So we all know that the Thunderbird has a movable front headlight. The front headlight is not, uh, the front headlight is fixed to the forks or the handle over here. So when you move the handle, the headlight moves as well. But on a Himalayan, this headlight is fixed over here. It doesn't move. Uh, no matter if you change, if you move this uh, handle around, the headlight remains fixed. So this headlight is connected to a bracket over here, this bracket, and which is in turn connected to the chassis. And also we have another metal bracket here. You can see this. This is the metal bracket, which is again connected to the chassis. This metal bracket is not present on the Thunderbird because you don't need this on a Thunderbird. But the keys, but the key and the wiring is from a Thunderbird. So what happens is when you move this handle around, when you move the handle around, the wire which goes from the key will rub against this metal and in turn it will start to wear and tear off and your bike will no longer start after that. I had faced the same issue and as part of this recall they have done something over here the wire is now being routed through here although the wire is being routed to here i can already see there is some wear and tear you can see if you go close by you can see there is already some amount of wear and tear on this bike i mean on the wire over here you can see this wire and this is the bracket and this is the wire so as you look closer you can see there is some amount of wear and tear by rubbing against this so i think in future this wear and tear will increase a lot and my bike will again face the same issue which i had faced earlier that's i will not be able to start the bike so royal enfield does not have a solution for this as of now and i think this this problem will be repetitive i'm gonna face this problem again as you can see there is again slight wear and tear over here they have just replaced the wire they don't have a permanent solution for this because this piece of wiring was not designed for this bike as i told earlier it was designed for the thunderbird and thunderbird does not have the same uh, steering mechanism or the handle mechanism as that of a himalayan so these are the updates that i have from the recall this is the third time that royal enfield is doing a recall for the himalayan and hopefully they have fixed most of the issues with this recall and i'm not sure how many more recalls they'll be doing by looking at the work the engineers and the technicians do at royal enfield i think there will be more recalls hope you find this video informative and you like the video if you like the video give me a thumbs up thank you